This is bad. This is real bad. Something happened quietly that the, that the U.S. media is not talking about, but it's going to affect everybody in America and everybody that, that uses the U.S. currency. Um, our currency just got overtook by another uh, by the BRICS nation, meaning that one dollar it takes it takes fifty fifty dollars to equal one dollar of the BRICS new currency. If you don't understand what that means, it's going to cause hyperinflation throughout America. Meaning, our food, um, clothing, whatever you buy is going to cost like the most craziest number you'll ever think. Um, take a look at this video because there's no, really nothing we can do about it. But it's about to it's about to get rough out here, guys. Um, stay close to your family. Um, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, so while y'all was sleeping last night, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris just got the worst news of a president and a vice president can get without without it being a fallen soldier, right? So China, Africa, and Russia just dropped the image of their money that's dropping November November 1st, right? Okay. Here's how strong that money is. Here's how strong that money is. It takes 55 American dollars to make one African dollar, to make one Russian dollar, to make one China dollar, right? 55. Okay. All these foreign countries just try to offer Africa money. Africa told it, keep your money and help your people out. Tell Joe Biden we cool. We good over here. See, Africa has said it best. America said they feed us. Well, why would why America's mad when we tell them we don't want them when we don't want their help no more and we want them off our planet? If they feed us, why are they mad? Right? We should be mad. But since we feed them, they mad. They the one that's doing all the retaliation. We cool. We done figured this shit out, right? Now, y'all keep telling me America is the greatest country in the world. I don't fucking see it. Well, I do see it. They're the greatest country in the world of fucking shit up, okay? So America sold all its plants to China, right? Now, for America to buy shit out of China, it's gonna take 55 American dollars to buy a pack of bubble gum out of China, right? When America had all their plants here, right? So. Me and my wife just bought a TV from Costco for 600 bucks. That same TV in the near future is going to cost three to four to forty five hundred dollars to get. Remember the Michael Jordans you used to get for two hundred dollars out of, out of China? The Michael Jordans now buy a Michael Jordan at two hundred dollars. Right. The Michael Jordans going to be twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars to get a pair of shoes out of China. That's how fucked up America is, bro. They ain't, they're not telling you this, but shit has hit the fan, bro. I be telling y'all, I've been telling y'all this. All y'all got all these bad bitches that lay up in the house and don't want to work. All these all these thugs and stuff that don't want to work. You better tell them motherfuckers they better learn how to farm. You better get them bad bitches and them thugs up out your bed and tell them tell them how to get in the field and, and plant some fucking corn, some fucking watermelon, some fucking squash and tomatoes and shit because. Shit is going. Shit is getting real every day. And guess what? It's not slowing down. This shit is speeding up, bro. This shit is speeding up fast. Vladimir Putin, man, you a fucking good dude. Africa, I love what y'all doing, man. Y'all getting y'all getting respect now across the globe. Now I know y'all keep saying a lot of people, oh America, the Europeans got the best military, this and that. Yeah, but a lot of the European countries trying to jump ship. Germany and France has just told America they're going to leave the G7 summit to try to get on with BRICS. But the whole problem with that is they got to go through Africa. And Africa said, before we even sit down and talk to you, return all our fucking gold. Right? Africa has, has put it out there and said, y'all don't have shit to offer us. Not one goddamn thing. Y'all ain't got shit to even offer y'all people. So to all y'all motherfuckers, oh, Joe Biden just sent 3,000 soldiers to the border. Let me tell you what, let me tell you what China, Russia, and Africa just did. They put, Africa has 50 
countries on this continent. They pull a military base in 40 of those countries. 40. Right? So, even if America touched down in Africa, they're going to get fucking barbecued. You got nowhere to land. Huh? Come on now. Use your head, man. This country don't give a fuck about you, bro. These dudes done ran this shit in the ground. And y'all still trying to hold on to the boat. And if anything, we, the American people, need to get this government up out of here, bro. We need to get all this motherfucking people in this goddamn government. Republicans, Democrats, from the House to the Senate to the goddamn President. We need to fucking get these motherfuckers out of here. Because they the one got us in this shit. And then once we kick them motherfuckers out, we need to see if China, Russia, and Africa wants to buy America. Because it seems like they making all the power moves. See if they want to buy America and turn this country back around. Or make this country great, great again. Take Trump's slogan and make it great again. Or make this country great for everybody. Because these dudes has fucked it up, man. You got to make major moves now. You got to make decisions. You got to see if you want a car. Because it's going to come down to either you wanting a car or a cell phone. Because America has made y'all real comfortable with the bullshit. But just now the smoke has turned into fire and they can't put it out. That's all I'm saying. Just stay up.